Okay, you'll see what I meant when I said that right here. Because you have to get on that go into that goal, and it's oh shoot on the tail of that worm like that. It is ridiculous beyond belief. And if the nose hits you, it's over too. Ah, or you can just you know push your oh, walk yourself right off the edge too, because of how much speed you need to get inside there without getting knocked knocked around yourself. This is not an easy stage whatsoever. Oh, so close. Uh, by the way, it, it's definitely a good idea to use that map at the bottom right corner there. And, ah, oh, uh, maybe zoom it out. That would be a little better, too. Wait. Oh, ah, oh, he actually saved me. He, he, he was going to kill me, and then he saved me. If, if this is even a he, I wouldn't even think that a worm is a he or a she. I'm not sure, actually. <laughs> Uh, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, hurry up, time is running out, you're actually more likely to run out of time than you are get, um, to get knocked off the stage, you know, the, the chances of getting knocked off the stage are less than uh, running out of time, once it gets to about here, usually it's over, yeah, so let's just flop myself off the stage like that, let's try it again. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, oh, sometimes you can get it right, right off the bat like that, but it's not, it doesn't happen very often, it's like that air hockey one, uh, where it's luck based in getting the goal, well, I shouldn't say it's luck based, because it is possible to get fairly consistent at this, I guess, but the, the timing is just so insane, ah, I mean, the gap is just so small that you have to get in there, ah, because if you don't have enough speed to get in between the tail and the goal, I should say the goal is the tail, so to speak, um, you're not going to make it in or you're going to overshoot the target, or undershoot it, whatever you want to call it, because, because it's a moving target that I'm hitting, not the um, stationary one. Alright, might be able to get it, might be able to get it, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I fell out, oh well. Doesn't look like it's gonna be this time. Yeah! That was kind of blind, but it worked. <sighs> and uh, now I can go to the master stages. However, uh, the master stages I'm gonna do with a different character. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, exit out of the game here. Switch characters and then just start off right here at Centrifugal. So I'll see you then. Final character. Final set of stages. This is the Master. There are, I think, 20 more stages to go and then I am done with this walkthrough. So I, I might, I might just do those bonus games, you know, the party games, whatever you want to call them, in here. I just might, but I'm not sure. It doesn't, it doesn't really help you um, to watch me play those things, but it might be just for fun or something. Um, get on this right here on Centrifugal and you'll, you'll have no trouble controlling your speed. And just go along along that line that you see the bananas are on, like this one right here, and keep pulling back, and eventually the goal will come to you. Uh, just like this. It takes a little while for it to happen, but there it is. That stage is not hard at all, which is a relief compared to what I had to go through before. Um, swing bridges. This one is about the speed, basically. Um, you want to get to the center of these bridges, if possible, and then not uh, fall off the other side like that, because, as you know, the centrifugal force pushes you towards the outside faster than it would if you were to... Oh, shoot! I forgot they go over the state or over the platform like that. And, because, ah, uh, you, um, you'll have more control over your speed if you go towards the center, or drop down towards the center, if possible. It's, it, it's another one of those hard luck-based timing ones! Alright, coming up to number three here, let's move it, move it or lose it. Okay, stay in the center, stay in the center, time it right, time it right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, yes! That's what you want to do. Stop in the center, regain control of your speed, and then go for it. Oh my god, this stage is one of the most annoying stages I've ever played in Monkey Ball history. These cylinders are spinning! 
and you have to go across them. Oh my god, I forgot about the stage. I thought, oh, this, I hate the stage so much. That map doesn't help. It's all about speed control and, oh, Jesus. Oh. I don't like the stage at all. This one, this one actually ran me out of um, lives the first time I played it because of how, because of how unreasonable the stage is. It's just, it's just insane. <sighs> there is gonna be a lot of deaths in this one. I can tell right away. Oh yes, they are lovely, aren't they? You like those deaths, don't you? You sure do. Oh, it's just so hard to control when you go from one cylinder to another. It's it's not it's not too bad when you go from um like uh, not like that. But I mean, if if you stay on one cylinder, it's not too bad to control. But when you go from one to another, that's when the real control issues show up, and uh, and that's a death. <laughs> this stage is horrible. I'm serious. I'm sorry, game designer guy. This stage is bad. Really, really bad. You just have no control. cylinder again. And that last cylinder is actually pretty hard to stay on because it's a small cylinder so it's really steep and angle. You really have to stay towards the center or it's over. Ah. Oh. Wait, I think I found the technique. I think I found a technique for this one. Okay, you go like this. Um, you always drop off on the cylinder at the highest point, like, uh, in, unless, the, unless the cylinder is level. Uh, I'll show you if I can get a good run on, on it again. Uh, so maybe this stage isn't as bad as I once thought it was. Here we go. Say, now, now watch this. Flop down here, just like that. Go slowly, like, ah. But you get the idea. You have to go on from one cylinder to another slowly and try to regain control of your speed. If you can. Last cylinder, last, ah, uh, so long. And you definitely don't want to take breaks in, on these cylinders. Uh. Freaking cylinders! lives that I lose on this one already. Last one. Oh my god, oh my god. Yes! Thank God! Oh. Okay, this next one isn't that bad. Okay, just bolt, um, bolt to each corner as fast as you possibly can, like this. And once they go th move through, go to the next one, just like this, fast as you can. Otherwise, these will push you right out, right there, those things. Okay, now wait for them to go through, and then make your, make your run when they pass all the way through, just like you did that first one there. And it's, it's like a rinse and repeat sort of deal. The only thing that you have to worry about is those walls. Like if you tick a wall, you're almost certainly going to fall to your doom. But if you go straight across and not touch the wall at all, you'll make it. 
Hold on a 